Okay, so this is just a little bit more about measurement. Um, and I just, I kind of, I mean, I've been thinking about this for a while, I suppose. But we, we have this proclivity towards giving a system at one number. And you see this a lot. And it's great because then you can go and tell the policymakers or whatever the number went up or the number went down. Uh, and um, this is apparently a real sign, right? This is a real sign. And, you know, it's a joke, but it's a real sign in this town. Um, but, yeah. Right, so there's the, Burlington presumably has, yes, ha, right, everyone, every, every city will have its own number, and this will be its score, right, so then you can compare them. Uh, and, but we, do, you know, and that seems ridiculous, right, but uh, obviously these aren't commensurate uh, things in terms of there are feet and numbers and years being added together, so that's wrong. You need a conversion factor, sure, you've got some prefactors, you do the right thing. Uh, so well done there, whoever put that up, that was funny. So comparisons and rankings are easy, right? So it'd be great if we could do this. Uh, and so it's very hard to, it's, so once you get in there, it's hard to push back against, right? So grade point average, right? Everything you do, one number. And when I, when I went through high school in Australia, it was just one number at the end. It was just the, for the top four out of 100 plus 10% of the, of the fifth one. And that was it. It was your number. It was just a straight up ranking. And when you went to university, you listed the places you wanted to be or the fields you want to be in, and it just went down. All the other people who listed it just took the top one, da, 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 and then just numbers, straight up numbers. Um, <clears throat> so that one, which you're all very familiar with, I do, one of our students here uh, who, who did a master's with us, and partly he did a master's with us because he had to get something that said A's and B's on it because he went to Evergreen State College, is that what it's called? Evergreen in Washington, it's where Matt Groening went. And I don't know how to say this probably. The, it's a giant clam, a geoduck, a geotic, what is it called? Geoduck or something? That's their um, mascot. I think 10% of the population, uh, the student population live in the forest. It's like interesting place. Anyway, you would come out of there with like a 100, 400 page document of who you are. No A's or B's, nothing like that. It's just like, just it's all this text. And um, which is awesome. But, you know, then someone else says, you know, I got a GRE or whatever, you know. And, and all the systems are set up to, to do that. I mean, I, I, you know, the, look, the, in the end, the one, it the, depends where you go. But, of course, you know, letters and recommendations, those things are absolutely gigantically important. Absolutely. So, you know, we, we, there's, a, there's a limit to, to how much people pay attention to these things. Uh, but college rankings, right? Of course, we have this thing, which makes colleges do bad things. Right, what is it, the U.S. News and, yep, got to be on that one. Um, we, we do have a, we, we had a project in here, and, and it could be done, which is measuring the, hap, the, looking at all the tweets coming out of a region, a college region, and then comparing all the colleges based on what people talk about and the happiness and so on, and, you know, could be interesting, could be also kind of damning. Um, uh, you know, how serious is this place, whatever. Parents would have a tough time looking at that one, I guess. Uh, city rankings, we do this sort of thing. Countries, we rank them. The Michelin Guide, I mean, this is a one, two, or three stars. That's it. No in-betweens, right? And this is, I mean, this is, and it's, it's awful to say, but I mean, this is, this is incredibly stressful what happens to people, right? There are chefs, awful thing to say, but have committed suicide. You know, and it seems directly tied, right, to this where it's gone. Michelin Guide put them down from three to two. And... Maybe, maybe I, that's not right, but I, th I think it's sort of Yelp scores. Again, just a you know, five-point sort of thing. Zagat, does anyone even know Zagat? Zagat was, the, Zagat was the thing. It was Tim Zagat and his wife, I think, just started to make this little thing in New York City years and years ago, and it became a book you would buy, right, because before the internet, or before the web, I should say. Uh, and that always had three things to it, right? So it has some complexity to it, which was like the food, the decor, and the cost, right? There was some sort of sense of it being... Maybe service, I think it was. Uh, so that actually had some complexity to it. But Yelp is just a thing, pretty much. And then, of course, you look at what people say. Uh, Amazon ratings. Amazon ratings have a peculiar thing. Let me look at this one. I have a nice one here for you. Mm. Oh. Well, let's find this one. Get open somewhere else. Banana. Yes, the Hutzler 5.7 Banana Slicer. <clears throat> which sometimes I use as a pointing thing, because look, you purchased this on April. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
And I, I we, oh my God, we've run out of time. Uh, let me just tell you about this. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm monologue. Uh, uh, I will tell you quickly about this. I was showing this to this class a number of years ago, probably 2013, because it was where the, the whole system had been gamed at that point, and it doesn't happen anymore, I think. Let's look at what. These are sponsored, who bought this also. See, look, it's very sensible. But it used to be, um, there was a badonkadonk tank, which was a personal armored vehicle. There was the t-shirt of the three wolves howling at the moon. There was a, a gallon of milk, a Tuscan gallon of milk, which was unavailable, but $200. Uh, so it was all these things that people had managed to by like buying stuff and fiddling around. And then written fantastic reviews. You know, the reviews are just, just spectacular. I think this is, uh, like down here you'll see someone, com they're really excited about, this is really good for the right curved bananas, and they're, <laughs> they hope they make a left curved one. So, <laughs> so there's some really, really good quality in there. You know, I know you guys, for decades I've been trying to come up with an ideal way to slice a banana. Use a knife, they say. Well, my parole officer wouldn't allow me to be around knives. Shoot it with a gun. Background check. Hello. I had to resort to carefully attempting to slice those bananas with my bare hands. I would get so frustrated that I would end up squishing. Anyway, anyway, so look at this. So a lot of that sort of stuff. So I have two. Because a student gave it to me at the end of this class, at the end of the semester. Here's a present for you. Uh, but what I, and I know we've got to go, but my point is that this is, just let's look at this little thing, and then you, I'm sorry, and then you want to go. So if you look at that little five-star review, what is that five-star thing? If you go to here, so Amazon calculates a product, this is not their average score. It's a star rating based on a machine learned model. So I don't know what this means anymore. Like they discount older ones, they do something funny. So th this is, these are, I think if you look at these, these are real, but then there's a black box that gives you its average rating. Who knows what it means? I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means, but at least it's got stars and you can order them. Right, I'm sorry for the monologue, and, um, <clears throat> but we'll do it again next Tuesday. <laughs>